welcome to my 100 days of making comics thing. So, this is a week late. And in fact, I should have actually merged this with the next video for the last week. However, I will not. Purely because the video will be too long. <laughs> and I, I don't know if I can... My internet has the ability to upload a video that long to YouTube without my computer dying because it will take weeks for me to upload it so yes over here on your screen you'll see me attempting to shade things which I have said before I have no idea how to shade things and since I'm not using tone it's more like it feels more like coloring without color which is an awkward thing to say but that's how it feels like Woo! Okay, so, um, and I've been do I'm doing this, like, and I'm, uh, so the video, in the video, I'm doing this because I, at this point in time, believed I'd still be going to IndieCat. However, now that I'm in the future, I can surely say that I am not gonna be even with my org because of some blunders. Firstly, no one was checking our email. Turns out they wanted a confirmation. I was busy. I'm pretty sure the other guys were also busy. Um, and our, the, our very much leader had a lot of things on her mind. She, she, has, um, she has to finish her own comic. She has to do her own... Well, first she has to finish her own comic, then she has an anthology. Anthologies? She has anthologies to do. And, and additionally, it's not her job to check the email in the case, in this case in particular, it's supposed to be the externals guy. And then there comes the externals guy who did his best, but then I, I guess he wasn't able to check. Um, the problem is how it actually and how difficult it is to check the email. There's, it's, I have no idea why it's difficult, but even I have a difficulty checking it. It's because it's one email that's being shared by the upper tier <laughs> of the, or the organization. So, you know, that's a bit difficult. Uh, and it's also hard to open. Like, the reason why emails are hard to open, are, are easy to open, sorry, is because you don't, you, you're usually auto logged into them. If you have to log into another email on the way, it gets a bit difficult. Yeah, especially when it comes to notifications. So, there. Why haven't I checked? Well, I had been here, and that means I had exams, and I was busy. But then I feel as though I should have as well. Anyway. So yeah, well, I sort of realized that I needed to figure out how to color from this point. This point of shading, which I guess to some people would be easy considering they actually know how to art. But to me it was a bit difficult to understand what to do after you shade things as though you were coloring them. So even as I was doing this, I had to really think about it. What do I do? And additionally, especially for these three panels in the very first page of the second part, I had no idea where to put my lighting. Instead, I did this thing, like, Although there's no actual light coming out from anything, because, well, the person's supposed to be in the dark, literally inside the dark, in darkness, or their trees, um, I was able to figure that maybe I should just put the light source towards whatever he's looking at, or the thing that he is catching attention, that's catching his attention. Well, because technically, um, this well, okay, he sees a baby, but there's really no baby there, so there shouldn't be any light going from the baby to him. 
the baby to in his eyes is glowing but there's no real baby uh, you see um, where the dilemma comes so in order to do this properly what I did was I just placed the light on the baby or like the baby that is off screen so that the audience can feel how he feels or the light that he perceives although technically speaking you cannot <laughs> anyway I think it makes sense when you look at it also when you look at where you're supposed to focus slowly it gets brighter and slowly more of his face and facial reaction is revealed so on it sort of makes sense I guess I hope I hope it makes sense but yeah Honestly, and people watch these videos, I actually quite wonder, what do they think? What do they think of how I'm shading things? Dear audience, if you if you actually know what the proper way to do this, and if you're actually watching my videos, if there's actually someone watching my videos rather than my parents, and I guess my sister, I would like... I would seriously like to know whether I'm doing something wrong or if there's already a embossed technique, solidified method of how I should, you know, do such. from a gray image was something that I tried to do. I know that a lot of people do it. Um, online, I saw, I was watching some of Polly Brown's videos and she did it. And then there are a bunch of other random artists who seem to do it, um, whose videos I randomly come upon. And then in my student organization, the president, who is a wonderful, oh my god, her colors are wonderful, her art's wonderful, she, she's that, she has done it, and it looks f fantastic. Um, and now watch as I do it, and it doesn't look fantastic. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure there's something I'm missing here. Although the final doesn't look like this, the final looks a bit, be bit better. I'm pretty sure I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. If anyone has any techniques on this, I highly doubt anyone's gonna comment on my video with said techniques, but you know what? I'm gonna leave that to fade. Um, I don't really know how to fix this color from black and white problem. The colors end up gray. Well, here it ends up gray, but at the same time, um, I actually want it to be a bit gray. I feel like that's the point. I don't want things to be too sharp or too muted. I want it to feel, you know, yucky and gray because this is supposed to be a horror comic and I imagine yucky and gray to be the feeling of horror or the feeling of strangely realistically gritty. But it still doesn't look right. Even if that is the effect I wish to portray. Things still don't look right, um, which is sad. <laughs> but I did try. Maybe I should just color from, go from color to black and white in the future. Mm, so yes. So I don't think my lines are that great. Maybe they're too thin. Maybe the pressure isn't right. I'm not really so sure. I'm not sure what's wrong with them either. So if the audience that may or may not exist knows what's wrong with them, kindly please tell me. But my eyes um, feel like they're wrong. 
I just can't I just can't pinpoint what I'm doing now. And such is because I do in fact read a lot of manga. I do in fact read a lot of comics. So I do in fact know how things are supposed to look. And so I do in fact understand when I don't when my own drawings don't look how I would want them to be. Yeah. Just a bit sad. Because <laughs> if you know what you know you know you're doing something wrong, but you don't know what you're doing wrong. It's it's a bit like torture. But for what I know, I know that it is indeed adequate enough. And if I had low standards, it would be a okay. But I, as a human being, as a person who wants to make good comics that people will indeed read. I sort of want it to look good, and I sort of want to improve in one way or the other. But I'm not sure how that is. Uh, I feel like online my line weights are so are less variable, are less variable than when I do use pen and paper. And the reason why I won't use pen and paper is because I will probably screw up more than. I didn't. In addition, the effect I usually have with a brush is usually not there. Well, it sort of is. Maybe I should just make my brush thicker. But I've made my brush thicker before, and it just looks like poop. It looks like I was trying to do one old Chinese painting, you know, with the big brush strokes and all of that. But I'm not. I'm not trying to make a Chinese painting or anything related to that kind of style. So it, it becomes a bit of a difficulty. from the empty spaces in this video, I'd like to tell ye, the audience, that indeed I am running out of things to talk about. And because I'm running out of things to talk about, I am prolonging my sentences in order to continue talking about something. I want you to leave the audience, you guys, in a video with just music and watching my thing yeah with just music watching me draw things in an inadequate manner um, but I guess there are a lot of videos out there of speed paintings um, if the person doing the speed paint is not doing some sort of commentary I get bored easily and I don't really want to put people through that boredom, so here you go. I talked through the entire video regardless of having almost nothing to say. Also, even if I had something to say, I would have forgotten it by now because it's two weeks later. This thing, this commentary is two weeks late. Sad. It's a very sad commentary. But. I assure you, I did have a lot of things I had to do. It was almost the exam period, and I sort of really wanted to get an exemption. So, I had to study a lot, and making the videos for this is easy. Doing the commentary is a bit difficult, but the hardest part is having to upload it to YouTube. It slows up my computer quite a bit and it takes quite a bit of time. I've uploaded the video for like a week previously, so it's difficult. Actually, I feel as though I should have showed what I've been doing in class. Maybe I'll show it in the next video since I'm making them at the same day, and you're gonna probably receive them around the same time. So, 
actually I have quite a bunch of cool videos, please record for me. So yeah, thanks, bye.